ATVO, it's Desmond Cole, activist, journalist, author, former man about town, I guess, and welcome to my home. Well, I'm surviving, you know, like everybody else, I think. It's been a really, really weird time. Uh, I feel lucky that I can pay my rent right now. I feel lucky that I have a place to live, that I have food, that I'm not sick. So things are difficult, but, you know, relatively speaking, I feel blessed. I wake up late, which again is not that unusual for me because I can choose my own schedule as a freelancer who <laughs> decides when it's time to make money and when it's time to eat popcorn in bed. Um, and so, you know, the routine, I would say, has shifted a little bit later. I wake up a little later. I probably go to bed a little later. I don't actually read as much as I wish I did, to be honest with you. And I find it's actually not that easy to read during quarantine. But uh, I've got a book here that I'm reading. And it is called Identities. It's a collection of short stories by Yabom uh, Gilpin Jackson, who I actually happened to meet um, on tour, on my book tour recently, when I was in Vancouver. And I met Yabom in Vancouver, we did an event together, and she was kind enough to sign and give me two of her books. Yabom, like me and my family, is from Sierra Leone. And so, yeah, this is a really nice treat of uh, short stories of hers that I have been really excited for a while to get into, and now I have more time than I could have imagined. I met my mom at the train station a while back, and uh, we did not touch each other, we could not hug or anything like that, so we just kept our distance. But it was like a drop-off, you know? My mom had the big bag that she left on a seat for me to come and pick up, and then we stood there talking for a few minutes before I got back on the train. But um, my mom made me rice and chicken and stuff that I was able to take and put in the freezer. And I am gonna take out probably, probably the last of my mom's home cooking this evening and have that for dinner. Thank you, mom, love you. I'm a big phone person in normal times, and so I always use the phone to keep touch with people. Um, text messages. Now, all the people that I know are gonna be like, I don't know what he's talking about. He hasn't answered my calls or messages in weeks, but um, I, I, I try to keep in touch using these messages. I try. This uh, is actually one of the first journals that I ever bought and kept for myself as an adult. It might be the first, actually. And this big red Bible um, has poetry. It has, uh, you know, little stories that I wrote. It has recipes that I wanted to keep. Um, you know, this is from my early 20s, early, early 20s. And uh, I was actually flipping through this the other day and I found something quite unbelievable, which I had forgotten about, which is that I was a French teacher. I didn't forget that part, but I taught substitute French uh, in Oshawa for a little bit after dropping out of Queen's University. And I was a French teacher to about 80 students over the course of a semester as a, as a very, very young, uh, clueless substitute teacher who ended up staying at this high school in my town for the majority of a semester. And I had this journal with me during that time in my life. And at the end of the year, my students who were always interested in my journal, which I usually kept around me, asked if they could, somebody asked if they could write me a message. And um, I said, yes. You're the only teacher who could actually make me understand French. Thank you so much for helping me um, with and this is a friend of hers who was going through a hard time. I won't read their name. I'll always remember the one teacher who actually helped me. I hope to see you next year. Thanks so much again. Have a great summer and good luck. I get into YouTube holes. So like, you know, I went in a real like cooking video binge recently where that's all I was watching. I've been watching a lot of like different sports documentaries recently because I'm really, you know, that's what I would be doing in a normal time and it's a good diversion. 
I'm an extremely messy person, but this pandemic has, uh, because I'm, I think, a little bit more aware of this room and of my surroundings, it has caused me to change this room around a lot and to try and purge things that I don't need to get rid of clutter. I really want to see us address the housing issue and um, I want to see us do so in a completely aggressive and uh, unapologetic way. It's very sad for me to see people suffering the way that they are during this pandemic and not having the basics. And uh, we're not going back to that after this is over. I'm not. The Agenda with Steve Pakin is brought to you by the Chartered Professional Accountants of Ontario. CPA Ontario is a regulator, an educator, a thought leader, and an advocate. We protect the public. We advance our profession. We guide our CPAs. We are CPA Ontario. And by viewers like you. Thank you.